Hi guys, my name is Jerry, I'm from Wild Eye, and in this video, I'm gonna look at how you can use star ratings, color labels, and keywords in order to try and make some kind of sense out of the mess that is your Lightroom catalog. Now, I know a lot of you guys struggle with this. You see, people see Lightroom as just Photoshop's little brother. Now, let's fix that first. Lightroom and Photoshop, the processing side of it is exactly the same. The power, the raw engine is the same thing. Right, so with that out the way, the win for Lightroom, however, is that you have this incredibly powerful digital content management system. And it is, probably for me, it is one of the best features of this pro. I'm gonna say it again. It is one of the best features in Lightroom. So if you look at your modules at the top, you've got library and develop. Library inside of Lightroom is where you can manage all of your images. Now, I know for a fact a lot of you struggle with this because on Safaris, when we host and we kind of start importing and stuff, people struggle with where do my files live? Do they actually live in Lightroom? Or do I put on an external hard drive? Or ha it's a mess. Someone also asked me recently, I think it was on Snapchat, that do I, Jerry, only import the images that I'm going to process into Lightroom? It's like, no, everything goes in there because the sorting, the editing, the removal, the deleting, whatever, the management of your raw files is phenomenally powerful within Lightroom. So, filtering back down, I'm not going to discuss import in this. There is stuff on the Wild Eye YouTube channel on that. I've done those videos, some of them six, seven years ago. The, those basics still stand. What I'm going to look at in this video is once you've got your images in Lightroom, yeah, how do you start categorizing them? Now, like I mentioned in previous videos as well, I'm not a fan of recipe-driven work. So, the stuff I give you now in this video, and also the stuff on my social channels is, I'm trying to give you guys the tools with which to make your photography and your photography life a bit easier. I can't prescribe and say to you, you have to mark all of your best images with one star, um, or you have to mark your best images with five stars, or you have to mark your best images with the red label, and so on and so forth. I'm going to give you the tools, and I can tell you how I do it, but I want you guys to take the tools, make it your own, in order to make your workflow easier. That's a much longer intro than I thought of, but anyway, here we go. So, diving into Lightroom, what we have here, this is just a collection of images. Now, this is inside, actually, let's go back out of Lightroom. Do you guys understand? I'm going to open up the tab on the left-hand side of my Lightroom over here. Do you guys understand, watch this, do you understand catalog folders and collections? What it is. Catalog is the top level. Lightroom can open one catalog at a time. Folders is the actual home base where your files live, your raw files live. And then collections is once you've finished processing images, that's where you put them. Like I say to a lot of people when we do, do um, courses and workshops and stuff is, your raw folder is all the images that you have from a trip. Now, if I'm gonna come and have coffee at you and you're gonna show me your best pictures from your Svalbard trip, please God, don't show me everything because you must have shot six to 10,000 images, yeah? You're gonna filter and you're gonna show me your best of, your 12, 20, maybe 50 if it was a very good trip images. That's where collections are handy. If you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, catalog folders and collections, drop me a mail, hit me up on Snapchat or Instagram and I'll do a video specifically on that. Anyway, moving on. So. Back into Lightroom we go. What you see on screen here now is a bunch of images that I finished processed from a Mara trip. This was taken on a Great Migration Safari, I think about two years ago. Now, looking through these images, you can see, let me make it a bit bigger for you. Looking through these images, you can see there's a bit of everything. I've got uh, Thompson's gazelle, I've got Impala running, there's a lion, he has more lions, he's a lizard, there's a giraffe. So. What I want to try and do now is I want to start sorting these things according to some kind of structure. And there are three ways to do it. Number one, star ratings. Number two, color labels. And number three, keywords. Now, let me start with, what am I starting with? Star ratings. Let's start there. So, I'm going to say, right, all the images, and again, this is a tool, guys. Decide how you want to use it. For every, for example, great image that I want to save as a part of a portfolio on my website, I want to give a five star. Easy way to do that is you literally click on the image so it gets the white border and then hit five on your keyboard. Scroll down, uh, click there, hit five, scroll down, and five. So I keep on adding a star rating to the specific images that I want. I can do, for example, blog images for me. If I do a blog, I can call them three. 
So you'll notice at the bottom, it gets a little three. Uh, this image, three, I can write a blog post on how awesome that lion is. This, three, and I can use two and one and so on and so forth. So it's a very easy thing. Highlight the image, hit one, two, three, four, or five on your keyboard, and that sets the star rating for that image. We'll get to how you look for those in a second. Second option now is color labels. The keyboard shortcut six, seven, eight, and nine gives you the option to add different color labels to images. Watch first. If I click on the first one, I hit six, next one seven, next one eight, next one nine. So there you see red, yellow, green, and blue gets added as a color label. Now, again, guys, I'm not gonna tell you how to use this, I can't. If any photographer tells you this is how you have to do something, walk away, because they're trying to indoctrinate you with their bullshit rather than trying to make you a better photographer. Sorry, I digress there. I'm going back now. So you've got all these color labels. For example, you could say, images that I'm gonna use for Instagram, uh, I want to mark with blue. So I'm gonna scroll down and say, ooh, orange, Instagram like that, so let me put a blue label on it, uh, that one. Um, people like Scar on Instagram, so let me give him a blue label. Um, people like Crossing Shots, I'm gonna do that, and so on and so forth. Six, seven, eight, and nine is the keyboard shortcut to give those blue labels. So now, what I have is inside of here, I've added a star rating to some images and a color label to different ones. Again, one through five and six through nine. When I now want to look at all of the images that are blue labeled, what you do, is you go up to attributes, the top of the screen here, click on that, and you'll see a little bar opens up and you've got all of these attributes over here. This is the filter system where you telling Lightroom, this is what I want to see. So I simply click on blue and there are all my blue images. It's as simple as that. And now I can bulk export just those, makes sense. I can turn that off and say to Instagram, show me all the one stars. No, this is one and above. So I'm gonna do equal. There is all my one stars, there's my five stars, and so on and so forth. If I want to get out of this filter system, I go to none. That is pretty simple, guys, and that is the basis of sorting inside of Lightroom. That is what you should know and what you should be using. Again, you might think uh, one is my blog post images, three is my Instagram images, five is my hero shots. You could then use the color labels, and you could do, for example, five star images, blue, red, and green. So you, you can catalog them. Again, think of this as tools rather than prescription. Works better that way. Now, moving on. This is the fun part of this video, and this is where I actually started from, is keywording. Now, I'm not going to discuss here keywording done when you import the images into Lightroom. That's global. So you would, for example, import. Think of this. If I imported all of these images at once, I'm not going to keyword because it's a global thing. It does it to all the images. I'm not going to say... Hyena, comma, black rhino, comma, lion, comma, storm, comma, sunrise, because it's not right. I'm gonna end up with a hyena shot that has all of those keywords. So when you do your keywording on import, go global. On this, I would have said, for example, Africa, Kenya, migration, Masai Mara, wild eyes awesome, wildlife. Those are the ones I would have used, for example, on all of those, because those apply to all of them. Now, if you wanna start adding keywords to individual images. There are a couple ways you can do this. The most commonly used one is, I click on the image of the black rhino, I go to my right hand side panel, I go to keyword, and I write in here, rhino, if I can spell this correctly. And the spinning wheel of death comes up, all right, here, rhino, enter, that's in. And then I'll click to the next one and type rhino. I could also, for example, and this is another easy way, I can select, let's go with hyena, for, no, let's do lions. I can do lion, I hold command, I select a whole bunch of lion images, and then I go and type in lion. And that keyword is applied to all of those images. But, and I think this is a pretty funky feature, watch this. You've got at the bottom of your screen a toolbar. Some of you might not have it, hit T because it hides it or it brings it back. And Mine I've set up as follows. In the far left-hand corner, I've got this little spray can thing, which is phenomenal. We're gonna play with that. You can customize this bottom toolbar by hitting the little triangle and selecting what you want in there. I'm gonna go with painter now, watch this. When I pick up this spray can, yeah, it gives me next to it, it says paint, and here I can select what I'm going to be painting on a specific image. Let's go with keywords. I then write inside here, I'm gonna, let's, what are we doing? Uh, let's do lion. I can do lion, comma, 
Panthera Leo, comma, cats, cat, comma, predator, and so on and so forth. I can keep going there as many as I want. Watch what happens now. So I've picked up my spray can, I've selected keywords, I've added the keywords in I want to use. When I take my cursor up, it changes when I hold it on the image into a spray can. See that? Yeah? All I do now, I go and say, watch, click on the image, and it says assigned keywords. Boom. And I simply go and click on all my line shots, scroll down. You see it gets a little white frame around? Click, keep going. Click. How easy is this? Scroll, 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 there's a line. Click, 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 click. For adding keywords, yeah? I can then, I literally, I can scroll through here and be done within a minute, even if I have a lot of images, and having added in-depth keywords to different species. Once I'm done, I come down. I change the keywords to, for example, giraffe, long horse, whatever, and I paint those onto the specific images. Very easy, very handy, and for me, one of the easiest ways, once you've got your images up to a collection stage, to diversify them into keyword. Remember, this is not global keywording, this is individual keywording for specific images. Very handy. You can also change the bottom keywords here. You can change this to, for example, uh, let's do label, and I can select blue and I can paint, see how they, I can paint my blue labels on rather than using the keyword. Again, this is fast. So if I'm looking for Instagram, I'm gonna scroll and say, okay, that one, scroll down, that one, scroll down, click. Do you see how easy this is? A lot of people don't understand that Lightroom as a program has been designed to make your life easier. Don't overthink it. Look for the easiest way to do it. And again, these things are tools, guys. Take the tools and try and use them in order to best make your photography better. There it is, done. So, the next video I'm gonna do, I asked on Snapchat and Instagram yesterday which one you want. Most of you wanted the cataloging side of it. The next one, either later today or tomorrow, will be on copying adjustments inside the develop module. I hope that helps. As always, if you have any questions, leave comments below this video, hit me up on my social channels, or send me an email. The details are at the end of this video, and I will gladly assist in making you a better photographer. I think that's about it for now. Um, you guys hit your Lightroom, go and star rate and label the shit out of everything, and see how it goes. Let me know. My name is Jerry, I'm from Wild Eye. I'll see you guys next time.